we'll have a look at making a rubber band powered train first. First consideration, we're going to use this plastic track so we need the wheels to have a rim on the inside or an edge to hold them on the track. Uh, these milk bottle tops do have a small ridge around the edge but I'm going to cut some cardboard some discs just a little bit bigger so that we've got a slightly better ridge so they don't slip off so easily. The next problem we're going to have is small wheels like this rubber band powered there's going to be very little grip so we're going to get a lot of wheel spin. We'll probably get round that by putting extra weight on the train just to hold it on the rails. These bottle tops have actually got a mark right in the middle so you can find the centre quite easily. We've already got the centres marked in here. I'll do the usual and use barbecue skewers for the axles. I think that'll do, that's about the right length that way. It's going to have to be quite narrow. Right, got some drinking straws. Well, whatever you call this sort sort of straw. Right, we need a gap in the middle to wrap the rubber band round. Give the train six wheels just so it looks a bit more like a train. In fact, I expect we could give it even more wheels, but we'll we'll go for six for now just to see if we can get it to go round the bends. Gluing's going to be a problem because we don't want glue all the way round the outside of the rim. Normally that doesn't matter, but it will matter here. I think we're going to have trouble with grip. Still, we'll carry on.
just glue a small bit of barbecue skewer on there like a T shape so that we can hook the rubber band on easily. I gave it a little test and the wheels do spin badly so I've put a lead weight on there, one of my fishing weights to stop it spinning. Now I'll just bend up some cardboard to make a sort of a train shape. Well I've used the remains of that scrap cardboard to make the train shape. Just curved it over and hot glued it in place, made a little funnel at the front. I might go and spray paint it before we try it out. I haven't painted it yet because I thought I'd just try it on the track first and we do have a problem. As a rubber band powered train it works but with this track the curve is just too tight. I've tried adjusting the front wheels, put them on an angle but it's still too tight for us to be able to go round with that length of train. So that's a rubber band powered car. <laughs> It works, but if we try and put it on the track, it doesn't stand a chance. Because the back axle needs to be turned as well. I've turned the front one, but the back needs to be turned. And it just can't, it can't get round that bend. So, I'm not going to bother painting it at the moment. It's a half success. It works in that it's rubber band powered, but it won't go round on this track. If it was a straight run, it'd be fine, but it just can't go round that bend. It's too tight. <laughs> 